Yeah, it's me. Why are you up so late? I don't know. Why are you out so late? I was just with some friends. On a school night? Yeah, we had a study night. A study night till 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, you know we got that big exam coming up. What exam? Uh, uh, math. Danny, you must think I'm stupid. Now, come on, why would I think that? Because you've been sneaking in and out of the house all week. You're drunk right now. Look, I do not have time for this, okay? Danny, why are you lying to me? Why are you sneaking in and out of the house? I stay here at night, I sit in this chair, and I worry about you, and I'm praying to God, God, please don't let anything happen to him. Well, don't. I mean, I'm fine, okay? You're not fine. Something's been wrong with you for over a year. I don't know what to do. What is going on? Tell me what's wrong. Look, it's nothing. Okay? What do you mean it's nothing? Mom. It's nothing, okay? Just drop it, please. I'm not gonna drop it. Not until you tell me what's going on. Look, Mom, okay? It's nothing! Just drop it! Well, I've asked the assistant pastor to send somebody by the house in the morning to talk to you. Just promise me you'll talk to them. Please. Yeah. Sure. Good night, Paul. Help you? Oh yes, my name is Mr. Williams. I'm looking for Daniel. Are you Daniel? Yeah, I'm Danny. What do you want? Well, I was told your mother said that you needed someone to talk to. Of course she did. Well, is she here? Is she... Nah, she's at work. So like, what are you, a tutor or something? No, I'm a mentor. Mentoring is what I do. <laughs> look, I'm not trying to be rude or nothing, but I'm not for all this mentoring stuff. Well, look, Daniel. It took me 30 minutes to drive here. At least you could do is give me 45 minutes of your time, and then I'm out of your hair. We could go somewhere to do lunch. On me. Well, I mean, if it's on you, sure. Yeah, give me about 10 minutes. I can be outside. All right. I'll meet you in the car.
call me back when you get this. Um, one of the guys is trying to go somewhere after. I'm not really trying to go, but um, just like call me back and tell me that I can't go, so I won't hurt his feelings. So uh, call me back. All right, I love you. Bye. Mr. Williams. Yeah. I can't believe you really have me out here doing community service. Oh man, please. Are we at least almost done? Look, man, we're gonna be done as soon as we get to the top of that hill over there by the stoplight. The stoplight? Yeah, the stoplight. The one that's about a mile that way. <laughs> man, you exaggerating, but yeah. Dude, I don't think I'm exaggerating. Well, it's about a mile away then. Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? How about we go to the top of the hill and we just call it a day. We can probably even go get some food. On me this time. All right, I'll take you up on that offer. But that'll be as soon as we get to the stoplight. Okay, the offer only stands if we go to the top of the hill and we call today. Man, if we go to the top of the hill, that'll make me a liar. I'm not good at being a liar. I'll tell you what. Here, take the keys, go sit in the truck. I'll finish. No! No, 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 no. Because if I go get in the car, then we're going to be waiting here forever for you. So, let's just go. Come on, let's just go. Right, Come let's on. Let's go. Finish it up. Took a little longer than we thought, but community service ain't all that bad, huh? Hey man, I want to tell you thank you for coming and sharing this moment with me. Usually I do it by myself, but I appreciate you coming. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You know, I just really don't get it. What is it you don't get? Death. I mean, why did all these people have to die? Man, death is a part of life. Look, I don't think we're just... <sighs> What's wrong? Hey, come back here. I just don't think you get what I'm trying to say. What is it you think I don't get? I mean, you look like you live such a perfect little life where barely anything happens to you. That must be why it's so easy for you to be a Christian. <laughs> you think it's easy being a Christian? You think it's easy 
living a perfect little life. I wish I could live a perfect little life. Man, it's nothing perfect about your wife leaving you and you going into a depression. It's nothing perfect about you going into these dark little spots and nobody's able to find you. I wish I lived that life, but no, I don't live that life. Man, it was almost to the day I got the worst news any man could get. Just don't get it. We were about to celebrate his 18th birthday. I think this would be better if you could sit down, please. All right, just just tell me what's going on, sir. Well, earlier I got a call, shots fired. When we arrived, uh, I believe we found your son's body. Body? Yes, sir. Listen. Well, are you sure you have the right family? Is your son Joshua Williams? Yes, his name is Joshua Williams, but I mean, he, he's not dead. We're about to celebrate his birthday. Mr. Williams, there was a shooting, and I am so sorry, but your son has been killed. He's not dead. He's not dead. There is an investigation. We're gonna find out what happened. He's not dead. I'm, He's not dead. He should be coming through that door any minute now. He's not dead. I know this is not a good time, but do you know who he is with, where he was going? No, I don't. Man, it just don't seem real. You no, know, my son was supposed to come home, and he didn't. Then why doesn't God do something about it? Why do the innocent have to suffer and then the guilty just get to get away with everything? The people that actually deserve to die. Man, people, the guilty is not getting away with anything. In fact, nobody's getting away with anything. God knows what he's doing. Every person in this graveyard, we have to give an account to God for the deeds we did in this flesh, good and bad. 
I'm not following at all. Man, listen. Man was a sinner and he needed to be saved. And God gave his only son to redeem man back to himself. And if we don't have Jesus Christ, we never receive him, we never receive that gift, then yeah, the wages of sin is death. But the gift God gave us is life and it's life eternal. Jesus is that gift. Hold up, hold up, what? That doesn't make sense to me. Okay. God loves the world, the good, the bad, the ugly. He loves us all. So he's not holding anybody accountable except the ones that don't receive Jesus as their savior. Jesus gave his life as a substitute for us. What should have happened to us, Jesus took that price. So. God will forgive the person that took your son's life. If that person really wants to be forgiven, God will forgive even that person. Will you? Let's just say I'm still working on it. Still working on it. Danny, what's going on, man? Oh, hey, what's up, Mr. Williams? Uh, you left your laptop at my house. Sure, well, I sure appreciate you bringing it, yeah. man. I don't know how I left this. You cooking? Sure. Well, I'm just warming up a little something. Do you mind? I guess not. Hey, uh, do you mind if I use your restroom? Yeah, go ahead, man. Who's this? This you? Yeah, man, that's me when my hair was black. <laughs> I mean, me and my son. Sorry about that, Mr. Williams. Sorry, man, it, it, it gets better. I'm fine, I'm fine, um... You sure everything's all right, man? Yeah, I just remembered I have something I gotta do. What, you gotta leave right now? Yeah, I, I just really gotta get but this hey, done. Man, I got lasagna in the oven. We um, go, I thought we were gonna eat. Um, save it for me? What's up, man? Hey, man, it's been a minute. What's up? Yeah, yeah I know, bro. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I mean, you good? You need something? <sighs> nah, not really. I mean, I'm kicking it with the boy right now. I mean, you want us to come swoop? Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, let's do that. All right, bet. I'll be there in like 20 minutes. All right, bet.
<laughs> Alright, bro. Hey, uh, make sure your mom don't hear you when you get in there. <laughs> bro, get out of my car. You cannot stay in here. Danny. Danny. Lately. It's my fault, man! And because of me! I shouldn't be here! And he! He should be! It's my fault, man! Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I need to do this, bro. Hey, uh, Mr. Williams. Hey, um, I'm outside your house right now. Uh, do you have time to talk? Okay, uh, yeah, um, I can come to the door here in about five seconds. Hey, Danny, how's it going, man? I haven't talked to you for a minute. I'm starting to get a little worried. You all right? Yeah, I've just, I've just had a lot on my mind lately. Man, what you been thinking about? If I'm being honest, I've been thinking about your son. Josh? Yeah, I knew him. You knew Josh? We actually went to school together. I didn't know that. Hmm. We hung out a lot. Really? The first time I met him, I thought he was this weird kid. He never did anything to get in trouble, nothing to stand out. But he was actually a pretty cool kid. I knew if I ever needed anybody, or need to call on someone, I could rely on him. That's Josh. You know, he was the kind of son that, you know, any father would be proud to have. I was actually envious of your guys' relationship. I mean, I didn't have a dad growing up showing me the ins and outs of how to be a man, how to make the right decisions. But the way he talked about you, his mannerisms, the way he carried himself. It really showed me that he had a good dad. I know you you think about the day your son died. I do too. What do you think about it? Because Because I was there. Yes, oh. sir! Bro, all right. That was a good, good game. game. Good game, my man. I gotta go now, though. Bro, come on. You know you got one more in you. No, no, no. That was for real my last one. Like, my family is expecting me. Bro, all right. Um, I, gotta go. I gotta stop one more place before I take you. Is that cool? Um, I don't know, bro. I really gotta go, but let, let me call my dad first. All right, bro. Don't be too long on that phone, all right? All right. All right, man. Hey, uh, do me a favor, call me back when you get this. Um, one of the guys is trying to go somewhere after. I'm not really trying to go, but um, just like call me back and tell me that I can't go so I won't hurt his feelings. So uh, call me back. All right, I love you, bye. All right, bro, um, I think that's him right there. Uh, just come with me, dude. Why? I don't really know, dude. 
Then why are we here? Bro, I gotta get some stuff. Are you going? Do you trust me? Bro, do you trust me? All right, let's just go. But remember, I didn't want to be here. Bro, nothing's gonna happen, bro. Just come on, come on, man. What's up, man? What's up, bro? Not much, just chilling. Got that money, man? Yeah, you got the stuff? I always got the stuff, but I need to see that money first. Well, I mean, I got the money right here, but I don't see you with anything. All right, man, well, show me the money. You'll see what I got. Bro, I'm not showing you nothing until I at least see something. We just wasting our time, bro. Let me see the money. You'll see what I got. Bro, at this point, it sounds like we ain't got nothing going on, dude. All right, bro, watch your back. Bro, get on straight. Come on, man, you gotta stay with me, bro. Come on! I'm so sorry, Mr. Williams. I thought that, I thought if I stayed, they would've thought I killed him or something. I was just so scared. I'm, I'm so sorry, Mr. Williams. Just go, just go, just go. should have happened to us, Jesus took that price. So, God will forgive the person that took your son's life? If that person really wants to be forgiven, God will forgive even that person. Will you? What are you doing here? Listen, man, we need to talk. We need to talk today, now. All right. And there's been some things on my heart and my mind that I just can't get off. Every single day this past year, not one day has passed. And I haven't thought about the person who was responsible for taking my son's life. I played it over and over and over in my mind, just wondering what would I say to that person? He's my son. I can't talk anymore. 
I'll never see him again. You know, I don't even know. He knew that I was proud of him. Out of all the mess ups in my life, man, he was the best thing that ever happened to me. I don't know, man. It's just hard. No, I don't want no revenge. I'm not wishing you dead. I'm here to do the hardest thing a man could do. Man, I'm here to forgive. Listen. Forgive me! Forgive you, man. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> do you think do you think God can forgive me he will man he will forgive me <laughs> mm -hmm.